Hello guys, and welcome to the ultimate survival guide for Don't Starve. Now, um, I have been playing a lot of this game recently, like a lot, like as you can see. Um, I did die at like, um, like, day 90 or something. Um, so I thought I would make a little, um, survival guide for you guys, if you would like to, uh, see how long you can survive. So, um, uh, so I've been reading around on the wiki and stuff, which is... And I have spoiled a few things for myself, actually. But, um, uh, so I'm going to just uh, show you guys, uh, with no spoilers, how to survive as long as possible, really. So, uh, I guess we're just going to go. Um, now, uh, I have unlocked everything up to here. And I think these are, like, the um, other people. Yeah. <laughs> the other people. <gasps> oh, my God. Um. Right, so, uh, should we go with Wilson or Bruno? I, I either go with Wilson or Bruno. Um. Uh, to be honest, uh, until you've unlocked Wilson, uh, I would go with, uh, uh, hello, uh, I mean, not Wilson. Um, uh, I mean, not Bruno. Wow, I mean, Wolfgang. Wolfgang, sorry. Why do I call him Bruno? Why? Oh, I'm so special right um so i'm gonna play with um wolfgang because he seems he has got like most strength bigger stomach and hits harder which i see and also obviously we're just gonna go with the classic world right so let's start this i haven't seen any other ultimate survival guides on youtube so uh yeah <coughs> right let's get going so as soon as we spawn, we want to get collecting resources. So hi, Maxwell. Okie dokie. Right, so first off, what I always do is pick up as many flowers as I can find. Because we want to make this thing here called the garland. And that will um, stop us losing our sanity, which we will need. Def def definitely, definitely need. Now, um, I would... Um, go about collecting as much grass, saplings, and flint as I can, or twigs even, because um, uh, and and usually I don't pick up carrots that are just lying around because then I can uh, come back at a later date and pick them up and they because uh, when they're in the ground they don't rot or anything, so it's like a, it's like an infinite fridge. Um, but I suppose it's best to, to set up a camp next to lot, lots of carrots. And I'll get onto that very soon. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go around picking up loads of random... And I really hate this. And there's like two bits of land and they're like almost touching but they're not. So that's quite annoying. Um, right. So we're gonna wait until we have a lot of these, and then we're gonna go looking for someone to camp. Uh, and I do believe that there is like something called like a console or something, uh, but I'm not sure how to use that. Uh, and you can like spawn stuff in for yourself, but I'm not gonna. I I'm gonna record everything I do um, o on this world, so. Uh, you guys can see. Right, so um, here we have a load of rabbits coming out these holes. Which Oh, and we have a road. Now, these roads are fantastic. Because that will either lead to a pig king, which we can trade items um, for and get stuff in return. Uh, or it will lead to a pig village. And pig villages are incredibly important. Um, and there is a rock with gold in it, and you can tell that because it's like got a bit, it's a bit more browny. It's got gold stripes in it compared to that one. So we're just gonna grab a gold nugget so we can make a science machine, which I will explain shortly. And we also might have to make an axe as well. Right, so um, let's go and follow this road because uh, oh yes we have pigs okay now the, oh and yes we have carrots planted here which is fantastic because this means um, that we can feed off them during the winter 
especially if a deer crops comes. Oh yes, an eye bone. Now, when you pick up an eye bone, oh god. Um, hopefully he'll he'll kill him and drop some meat. Oh, there we go. There's some meat. Now that is that meat is holy. It rots incredibly fast. But uh, and yeah, and, and so when you pick up the eye bone, a little a little creature thing called Chester will come and follow you. Uh, so then you can. These pigs are very rude. Um, so you can like put your stuff in it, and if you want, and if you want Chester to stay there, you can like prop the eye bone down or put it in Chester himself. Uh, so we're just gonna leave those guys to uh, kill each other, and then we can feed off their meat when they're done owning each other. Oh, yep, there's some meat. Right, so it is getting night, so I'm gonna make an axe very quickly uh, and start chopping down some trees. Um, and um, I'm not actually using the mouse, I'm using the um, WASD keys and spacebar in order to navigate. And we do have a rock here, which is very useful. Emergency uh, stone and gold nuggets. Now there isn't a pig king here, we might have to follow the road to the other side. Because we might go off here towards the pig king. Um, right, so uh, I would recommend trying to make a, um, a per permanent fire pit, which is permanent. Uh, although you can destroy it with a hammer if you have a hammer. Right, so let's just get all these rocks. We're very lucky with having random rocks around. It's very good. Right, how many rocks? Twelve, so we need four more rocks. Okay, well, one, two, three, and four. And then we should be able to make a fire pit. Yep, there we go. Now let's plonk this down. Oh, we've got a grave there, which is very useful. Because um, graves, you can get all kinds of st cool stuff in. And you can make fridges out of them, for example. Um, um, right, so um, let's... Um, so we do need to make a science machine. And that requires four rocks. And four wood. So is it... Do you think it would be possible to... Run and grab... Right, well, we might have to make a light source. And now these spiders are... We definitely need to avoid them. Oh, and I accidentally punched him. Okay, well, um, you should be fine if you... If there's only, like, one or two. But if you see a yellow spider, run for your life. Because they will do a jump attack, and that's extremely deadly. Right, we've got enough rocks. Let's chop a tree down. We might have to make an emergency torch. Right, we're gonna have to make an emergency torch, looks like. Okay, right, let's just plant these. Okay, well, it's all going well. <laughs> now let's, and you can see on the mini map just there, you see just there, there's a fire pit. That is our fire pit, and we should be able to see it. Right, there we are. Okie dokie. Right, now um, I would recommend cooking all the berries and carrots you have first, because they go off the quickest. Apart from like fish and all that kind of meat stuff. So we probably will be um, cooking up these. We will probably see if we can get them into a crock pot, which is um, uh, which makes use of food much much oh god I was about to cook the meat then it's much much more efficient right so let's uh, grab this grass and now um, as I go into the darkness my sanity decreases more and when my sanity um, I mean uh, as my sanity gets lower I will start seeing things um, now that is not too good because the things that I see can attack me if I get like lower than the thing, it's thirty, and then like a little crab thing comes out and starts killing you. Um, right, so the the first night will be a little bit painful, and we do need more flowers because we need twelve flowers in order to make a garlic. I should have uh, that is one error I made that I need to grab more flowers. So right now it's night. We need to make, uh, excavate that grave. 
Um, because the reason you want this is that it, uh, had it increase- Oh, there's some flowers. Is that it increases your sanity at a very slow rate. Um, because you see right now I'm not losing or gaining any sanity. I'm just, like, neutral. Um, so... So, yeah, um, that, uh, so, like, right now I should have the garland, but I don't. So, what, and this thing here is a spider egg, and if it gets too big, it develops, and, and the spiders do chase Chester, and Chester has life, um, and he will resurrect himself if he dies, but it takes a few days of, of in-game time to do that. Now, I can't seem to, now, th now, this is full of rabbit holes, which is a very, very good sign, um, because it means we can get food during the winter, even though nothing grows during the winter, um, or should I say it grows at a slow rate? I, I think it grows at a slow rate. From, from what from what I've seen, stuff does to grow back, but it takes like a long, long time. Uh, so what I'm doing now is looking for flowers and possibly some beefalo, because that would be nice, which is basically like a massive cow thing. Um, oh god, there's a pig here. Tuna. Oh, right, um, so there is pig houses here, and we will knock them down with hammers and take them back to our base. Because the reason we want pigs is that they protect us. And also, if we are in desperate supply of food, we can isolate one from the group and slaughter it without the others attacking us. Now, I can't find any flowers at all. What the hell? Right, well, that's the end of the land road thing it's my, we might as well just grab that grass um hi if you finally passed please do follow them guys because um they are very worth the um the travel i mean like it speeds you up so much like so much now I'm just looking for flowers i can't see oh there's a berry bush there which which and um, we want to grab them earlier on in the summer because um, they're in the summer now, so that they grow back towards the end of summer um, when the... Oh, there's a touchstone! Now, if you fa find one of these guys... Oh, look how close it is to our base! This is fantastic news! Um, so if you find one of these guys, this is called a touchstone. When you click it... Um, and activate itself. Now, when you die, you will have, like, a second life, and you'll resurrect yourself there. And the good thing about a touchstone is that, unlike other, like, resurrection things, you will not lose any health or hunger when you get resurrected. As, as far as I know, you don't lose any of that kind of stuff. Now, the pig, the bad thing about staying by pigs is that they do, in fact, uh, oh, and there is a goblet there. We will need to kill that, because they steal your berries. Now, I might have to trap it in the corner. Now, these guys are extremely fast. You can't catch them. Um, unless you've got some, some, some kind of bug or hack. Oh, there's a flower there, yes. We need one more flower. There's a flower there. We might have to grab that afterwards. Ah, uh, this is probably good. And there's a pick house here as well. It's fantastic. Right, so now we have enough to make a garland. Now, on his head there, you can see he's got a garland. I'm just going to scare this gobbler away a bit. Ah. Oh, we could have got him there. We almost trapped him against a tree, but... Oh, well, right. So, and these butterflies are going to be very good. We also would like a few beehives. Because you can harvest honey from the beehives. And honey takes days to go off. It's really, really slow going off. And these spider glands, I would recommend just keeping them. Actually, I'm going to store mine in Chester. Because he's just a cool dude. And, he, and that... Gobbler is really annoying me now. Right, so science machine. We need go oh god, gold nugget. Right, right. So now we need to make the science machine. And this, you can research new items with. So if you just place it down, and you suddenly get a load of these things. Um, now, if I am being a bit basic, it's because I am meaning to. Um, now, um, because people might be new this to this game. Um, so what can we make? Uh, so if you see this little, I'm pointing at the screen with my fingers, wow. Um, so if you see these little, um, uh, so if you see these little light bulbs next to the things, then, 
uh, and that means there's like a new thing to research. Right, so, um, so, right, we've got a shovel, which is fantastic, which means we can dig up that grave. Now, we don't, in fact, have any wood, which I should have looked at. So, if we chop down one of these trees, uh, eventually, <laughs> um, and then pick up all of it, it, all of the logs it drops, and then it's stump with the shovel. You can get, and I'm just going to plant these over here. Uh, and then you can make them into planks or boards, which you can plonk on the fire, and that will last you the entire night, and that you're good to go. Right, now I'm going to dig up this grave, and if a ghost appears, I'm not going to be very happy. Oh my god. Okay, um, well there is a very, very small chance that when digging up a grave, a ghost will come. Now these guys are quite easy to kill, but, uh... They are a pain in the ass because they reduce your health. Right, so all you need to do is just keep on clicking. They will take damage off you. And then they will just glide away into nothingness. Um, now, if you have Abigail and a ghost appear... Uh, if you have the character called Abigail, uh, she can, like, uh, summon, like, a ghost or something. And they follow you during the night. It's quite cool. Um, but if you are using Abigail, don't get too close to the ghost when it comes. Oh, uh, wait, I mean, the ghost is called Abigail. I mean, um, what's her name? Uh, I forgot the character's name. Um, part the one that, like, looks all creepy and can summon ghosts. But anyway, guys, I think it's, um, good enough for this episode. Uh, and that is a very nearby supply of carrots, which is going to be very useful in winter. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. We'll be right